Fans lined up outside the Progressive Field ticket office today hoping to score tickets to the opener, but only a few got what they came for. Oh yeah, no, nothing left for the opener. With opening day just 42 days away, people were in line as early as 8 a.m. to try to get tickets to get inside these gates on April 8th. That's opening day against the Yankees, and with the high demand, it took only six minutes for them to sell out. Couldn't get them. They were sold out upper deck, lower deck, none. And we're already here, what, 15 minutes since the window opened. But it's baseball. It's the Yankees. This is abnormal. You don't usually get the Yankees on opening day. So I settled for Wednesday's tickets on the third base side. But hopefully my girlfriend will go to a night game. She's, it'll be cold, but we'll see. Well, I just went up to the window, and they told me that they were sold out. You know, I, I got them last year, and I got here at probably 11 in the morning, and it wasn't a problem. This marks the 21st consecutive home opener sellout. But as a consolation prize for fans today, they were able to purchase tickets to other big games throughout the season. A season highly anticipated after the recent moves made by the front office, one that fans believe could end in a postseason berth. I'm getting really excited for the season. I really want tickets. I can't wait for the season to start. It's just fun to have people enthusiastic about being Indians. It's going to be an exciting year. Could be a surprise team in the league. I really think so. I think it really started with the hiring of Terry Francona that really started the buzz early in the offseason. And then adding Nick Swisher, the trade for Trevor Bauer and Drew Stubbs. And then I think the last piece was Michael Bourne. And when we added Michael Bourne, we just saw things go off the charts. In Cleveland, Will Ewick, STO.